Hi everyone, Art Journal page, and I'm working in this. Uh, this is an art journal from basically it's a, a sketchbook, a notebook, whatever a paper, and I'm gluing each time two uh, pages so I will have nice surface to work uh, on. And this time I started with an instant layer for my background with this uh, music sheet. Only you, the only thing you need to do if you don't have a music sheet is just do a search uh, for a free printables music sheet and there are tons of them and you can print them in any color that you want uh, and whatever. And also if you don't like music sheet you can use any kind of black and white in the back. You can do uh, book pages whatever you like this is just a starter it's part it was going to be pushed into uh, the back in the background as I said it's just the first layer so I already adhered it uh, to my page and I'm going to start by stenciling my focal image which is this face so I'm going to take some black acrylic paint put it here and take a makeup sponge and I'm going to stencil it okay like so very quickly I'm going to work today with lots and lots of paper napkins and also give you some tips about working with paper napkins and what to do if you don't have something that you like with paper napkins so there's tons of uh, information coming so I'm trying to be quick about it and let's see good enough okay finished with this now paper napkins what I like uh, with paper napkins are is that they have transparency so even a very plain paper napkins like this that I uh, look very pale you can use it and what's great about white background is that it will vanish into the other layers you won't see it like when you do a collage with other papers so uh, the ones that have white uh, background are great I have all kinds here I just picked some from my stash I'm not sure what I'm going to use here so I just grabbed some uh, stuff and now for taking a part of a paper napkin so I'm going to take some brush with water and I want this part of the paper napkin so I'm going around it like so I am not using scissors because it gives you a harsh line and when you are going around the part that you want in this method then it's it will blend into the background better especially the ones with the white background so I've got this piece that I'm going to put I think here and I'm using a plain white glue that I've added water to it I don't have measurements of <laughs> how much glue and how much uh, water I just want it to be a watery it's better to work like this with paper napkins and you need a soft and flat brush it can be something like that or it can be something like, like that it doesn't matter just so it would be soft and flat and I'm just putting down some glue and I'm putting this here and now I'm going over now you need to use the flat of the brush like so 
and it's better to go from the inside towards the outside and feel that the brush is gliding and not dragging your paper napkin so when you're doing this and now everything is adhered you don't really see what's going on it, it still it seems like this is gray and not black as I stenciled but when it's dry it disappears so that's what great about it <laughs> now I'm going to take another piece of the same paper napkin again this is just the beginning I'm building up layers and just playing with the placement and we'll see what's going on now if you don't have a paper napkin that you like you can always take the white backing of any paper napkin that you have and you can stamp on it and you can stencil on it stamping is easier because because it's uh, less wet and you don't have to be too careful but then if you have stamps and all kinds of ink pads then you can go wild on it and stamp on the white backing if you don't have stamps and ink pads then you can stencil you the only thing is that you need to be very careful that uh, on your sponge is as less paint so less wet it needs to be handled very carefully but it can be done like here I've stenciled the same uh, stencil on this white uh, backing so here is another part that I'm thinking of putting here I'm generous with the glue if you miss a a spot underneath with the glue then you will have an air bubble now it can be dealt with but as long as you are uh, putting enough glue you won't get a uh, air bubbles let's see maybe I'm gonna put this little piece that I have left I'm just playing it's not a I I'm not planning I'm just seeing where I think pieces need to go and you really need to be patient and and if and see how it when it dries it blends into the background so finished with this paper napkin let's see uh, maybe I can use this uh, I'm going to take a part of this one let's see of course if there is a place that you feel that you can't uh, take out the piece you want then just use scissors but as long as it can be a uh, done with the water and brush that's what I'm going to do so I'm going to put this here at the bottom like this and going on top again very carefully sliding with the brush and I'm going to uh, trim the excess later when it's dry there is no point in, in trying to do this now when it's wet now if I'm looking at it and I'm not sure where it's going then I will let it dry and then continue building the layers so that's another thing let's see maybe I can use this yeah why not again taking the brush with a little bit of water going around the image that I want carefully and 
and it doesn't matter that it's wrinkled to me at least it doesn't matter okay let's see I think it's going here so once again making sure I have enough glue I'm helping the paper napkin by like stretching it a little bit because it was wrinkled and now I'm just going to go over like so okay so now I've got again as I said a little bit of mess here I'm not sure where it's going so I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to continue layering um, paper napkins I'll be back I'm back so everything is still wet it takes time but so I just took other pieces from the paper napkins and I'm going to continue uh, putting down more paper napkins on this page like so and I'll just have to be patient and see what what will turn up from all this layering let's see using everything every single <laughs> piece of paper napkin okay there is a lot of glue here very very wet glue so it's gonna take time <clears throat> to dry what can you do my heat tool broke it doesn't work so I really need to exercise some patience yeah let's put it here and 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 I don't know um, what to do do I want this also? No, not here. Maybe I will just stamp a bird on a paper napkin and add it, but I'm not sure it will be seen here. So maybe just add a little bit more, more flowers and we'll see let's take a little bit more of this paper napkin now another thing with paper napkins if you don't like this side something is uh, <clears throat> like if you have a bird <clears throat> and you don't like that it's a towards uh, the left and you want it uh, to be towards the right then you can take the image just flip it over and glue it as is and again it will look the same when it's dry everything just looks the same so you can play with it and it doesn't matter I'm gonna take a smaller piece here here I'm flipping it over when it's dry it looks great and 
end to end. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go and do more flowers. Yes, more flowers. Like so. Lots and lots of flowers. Now I really need for all of this to dry before I continue. I want to add some, I think, uh, watercolors or something like that. That will be uh, light on the page, but will add color and bring everything together. So now it needs to be completely dry before I do anything to it. I'll be back. Okay, everything is almost completely dry and I decided that I still want a bird and it's an opportunity to show you what I've talked about, about stamping on a paper napkin and you, or the white backing of paper napkin and I've picked this bird stamp and I'm going to take this. go and I'm putting a craft foam underneath it's just easier to stamp like that that it will uh, give me a better uh, image so stamping on the paper napkin here we go and once again just going around with the brush around the image and taking it out of course it doesn't have to be a just one image if you don't have you if you have like lots of a uh, stamp flowers you can stamp in all kinds of uh, colors and basically make your own paper napkin to use so I've got my birdie here and let's just put some glue stick so I won't have to deal with more wet glue but I will go over it with a little bit of the wet glue very gently just so again it will disappear into the back and I won't have hard edges like so and of course it needs to dry now I want to add color to my page and bring everything uh, together. I'm going to use watercolors, but you don't have to. Uh, if you prefer, you can use the same thing I'm doing with watercolors. You can do with watercolor pe uh, pencils, you can do it with chalk pastels. With chalk pastels, you just put the chalk pastel where you want it and activate it with water. And you can use gelatos, whatever works for you and is activated with water. So I'm taking a watercolor brush with water and just taking a little bit of a paint. I need more water. And I'm just going in in all kinds of places that I have too much white and adding color. Now this is again, this I'm just putting down paint where I think it's needed. Mostly I'm going to use this uh, green color, I think, uh, in the edges. And then I'm going to start adding all kinds of other color like let's take a little bit of blue and just add in so somewhere else again it doesn't matter you use what color you have what colors you like and have fun with it and when the birdie is uh, dry i can also add some color to it let's take another green and again just going in several places that I don't like the white again if you do like the white you just keep it and 
I'm changing between the colors. I can add some yellow to brighten uh, everything. Lemony yellow. And now I'm letting uh, the colors mix again so I won't have harsh lines. I'm trying to have this the colors that I'm using in several places so it won't stick out like only in one place I will have the the yellow I'm trying to spread every everything and I don't like the blue so I'm just going over it where I've put the blue So you see I'm just changing in between and playing with the colors I've got. Let's see, maybe a little bit of this green. Again, putting a little bit of yellow in several places. I think it just brightens up the page I'm trying to towards the face to put some color but very very lightly it's fading just so it won't be stark white yeah almost done I think Okay, let's see. I think I'm gonna add some little bit of color to the face. I've got this almost skin color here. And again, lots of, I'm putting a lot of water just so it would blend and I won't have harsh edges just need a hint of color yeah just added like another leaf here <laughs> let's do another one very abstract leaf yep okay so my phone quit on me on the recording don't know what happened and I was right <laughs> towards the end I don't have much to do here I just want to add a little bit more of the darker green to the edges like so you can also darken the edges with some ink pads whatever you like and I want to add a little bit of color to the birdie so I'm taking a little bit of red here
just so it would be a little bit more noticeable like so and basically this is it that's my page I really like it and I hope you will try doing something like that and have fun playing with paper napkins and just one more thing uh, like here it's not still it's not dry enough so you can still see the paper napkin but even if you if everything is dry and you still got something on your black or that you don't like then you can fix it so I can go in with a uh, like permanent marker and I'm doing it very gently because as I said it's still wet and I don't want to ruin my uh, marker so basically you can fix uh, whatever you want you can also if you want use the stencil again but when it's completely dry then everything just disappears into the background that's it so <laughs> hope you liked it thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments down below i'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now